I loved, as a child, loved traveling across the country and just looking out and seeing the scenery change from plains to mountains to ocean. And I'm still the same today. I was on a blue sky day like today and thought, what in the world am I gonna shoot? And driving around and then saw these trees start to light up individually and it was all dark behind them and realized uh, there, was, there was something beautiful going on. There were a couple of aspen trees out in the meadow quite some distance away. And with this lens, I was able to focus in on them, isolate them from all the other distractions around them. And they looked gorgeous. One of the other nice things about this lens is it enables me to capture wildlife without disturbing them. And here in a national park, uh, that's a big deal. A couple of young males. Yeah, they're walking right towards us, nice. And so with this lens, I'm able to, to be quite some distance away and yet bring them in close and really show them in their environment and uh, sometimes even get some great facial expressions. We have three different modes of uh, vibration compensation. The first mode is the one I use most of the time. It gives you great stability and balances out the stabilization of the viewfinder and the capture of the image. But there are those occasions where I'm trying to photograph either a bird flying through the sky or elk running across the field. And for that, I can switch into mode two, which is designed just for panning across. One of the great uses for this type of a lens with this length is the ability to get closer than I have been able to with previous lenses. I can get within seven feet and then zoom in on a subject very close. A backlit ptarmigan is gonna, that, that'll make for a nice image. Then you can fill the frame with your subject. It really brings things to life. You are a beautiful bird. Being there when the light is at just the right angle, you have these vibrant colors and these textures and shapes and lines and shadows. That's what makes an image. That's really what it's all about.